So far in this series, we've covered the main parts and the main functions of the integumentary system. In part three, we'll be going over the diseases of the skin. Let's start with acne. Acne vulgaris is an inflammation of the sebaceous glands. Probable causes are hormonal changes and or an increase of sebum oil production. Pustules, papules, and blackheads can develop when the hair follicles are clogged by excessive sebum oil, cosmetics, or dirt. Treatments for this include frequent skin washing, avoidance of creams and heavy makeup, antibiotics, and ultraviolet light treatments. Athlete's foot. This is a contagious fungal infection that usually affects the feet. The skin itches, blisters, and cracks into open sores. Treatments involve using antifungal medications and keeping the area dry and clean. Skin cancers. Skin cancers are the most common types of cancer. There are two major categories of skin cancers. Non-melanoma is a benign cancer and is usually not life-threatening. Melanoma, however, is a malignant cancer. This one usually is life-threatening. Here are the two non-melanoma skin cancers. Basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. Basal cell carcinoma is found in the basal cells of the epidermis. The lesions can be pink to yellow-white. The shape of this cancer is smooth with a depressed center and an elevated, irregular-shaped circular border. Squamous cell carcinoma affects the thin cells of the epithelium, but can spread quickly to other areas of the body. This type resembles sores that scale and crust. Melanoma is a malignant cancer. This cancer is the most dangerous form of skin cancer. Melanoma develops in the melanocytes of the epidermis. The lesions can be brown, black, pink, or multicolored. The causes for skin cancer include changes that occur in a mole, excessive exposure to the sun, or prolonged use of tanning beds, irritating chemicals, or radiation. Dermatitis. This is an inflammation of the skin and can be caused by exposure to detergents, cosmetics, pollen or certain foods, contact with poison ivy, poison sumac or poison oak. Symptoms include dry skin, erythema, itching, edema, macular papular rashes, and scaling. Eczema is a non-contagious inflammatory skin disorder caused by an allergen or irritant. Diet, cosmetics, soaps, medications, and even emotional stress can cause eczema. Some of the symptoms are dryness, erythema, edema, itching, vesicles, crusts, and scaling. Impetigo is a highly contagious skin infection usually caused by streptococci or staphylococci organisms. Symptoms include erythema, oozing vesicles, pustules, and the formation of yellow crust. Psoriasis is a chronic, non-contagious skin disease with periods of exacerbations and periods of remission. The cause is unknown, but stress Cold weather, sunlight, pregnancy, and endocrine changes tend to precede outbreaks. Ringworm is a highly contagious fungal infection of the skin or scalp. Symptoms are the formation of a flat or raised circular area with a clear central area surrounded by an itchy, scaly, or crusty outer ring. Veruca, or warts, are caused by a viral infection of the skin. 
Symptoms are rough, hard, elevated, and rounded surface. Thanks for watching and check out our next video where we'll cover the medical terminology associated with the integumentary system.